Okay, guys, now we have section three. Section three is for multiple choice questions and for matching. Two question types are important. Over here, we've got sentence completion. So we'll just do both of them. Okay, section three, choose the correct letter A, B, C, or D, multiple choice. 21, why? Why means reason. Why Jack? Why is Jack interested in investigating seed germination? So underline seed germination. And why Jack interested? And there are three reasons. A, do a module on related topic later on. So if he says, in the third semester, I'm going to study a course on seed germination, then it's A. Right? If he says, for this reason, I'm studying, I'm interested in that. B, wants to have a career in plant science. Right? Now, you've got to listen to Jack. There will be a lady, very clever lady. Huh? She will say, oh, Jack, you want to have a future or you want to have a career in plant science. That's why you are interested in seed germination. Say partially, but actually that's not the reason. So it means it is a trap. Just focus the traps in multiple choice and you'll be on the right track. C, thinking of choosing this topic for his dissertation. And if he says, well, if I study this, then I don't have to do any dissertation. So that can be a trap. Or if he says, I'm, I'm planning to do this topic for my dissertation, so then this can be the answer. They will talk about all three options. Now I'm going to play the audio. I can help you out more when I play it question by question. So let's see. We've got to choose a topic for our experiment, haven't we, Jack? Were you thinking of something to do with seeds? Hmm, that's right. I thought we could look at seed germination, how a seed begins to grow. Okay. Any particular reason? I know you're hoping to work in plant science eventually. Yeah, but practically everything we do is going to feed into that. No, there's an optional module on seed structure and function in the third year that I might do. So, I thought it might be useful for that. If I choose that option, I don't have to do a dissertation module. Good idea. I, I don't have to do dissertation. And then, she, but she said, like, you want to have a career. He said, well, no, actually. Use the word no. So A is the right answer. Understand? Yeah, question by question is better. Question number 22. Jack and Ima agree. Very important multiple choice question. Agree. So Jack will say something, Ima, no, I don't get along with you on that point. Then uh, Ima will say something, Jack says, I don't agree entirely on that, or I don't think so, I don't believe that. Where they agree, agreement means you've got the point, you are right, I agree. Okay, so that will be the answer. Agree on what? Main advantage of their present experiment is that. Main advantage. Now, when they say main advantage, there can be some partial advantages, minor advantages, but main advantage of their present experiment is that described very easily means it can be described easily. B, carried out inside the laboratory. Main advantage that it can be carried out experiment. Just think about experiment that this experiment can be done in laboratory and C, completed in the time available. Time available means within the time limit or we can meet the deadline or anything like that. Now, please listen carefully. They will talk about all three options very clearly. And this is for you to decide where do they agree. Agreement, actually. Hmm. Well, I thought for this experiment, we could look at the relationship between seed size and the way the seeds are planted. So we could plant different sized seeds in different ways and see which grow best. Okay, we'd need to allow time for the seeds to come up. That should be fine if we start now. A lot of the other possible experiments need quite a bit longer. So that'd make it a good one to choose. And I don't suppose it'd need much equipment. We're not doing chemical analysis or anything. Though that's not really an issue. We've got plenty of equipment in the laboratory. Yeah. 
B is carried out inside the laboratory. She says we are not doing any chemical thing, but we do have equipment. So they are not doing it. They do have, for example, if I say uh, there are so many things in the refrigerator, but I'm not going to eat them. Right? If I say, for example, in the refrigerator, we have chicken, mutton, fish, but I'm not going to eat that. So what am I eating? Nothing. It's just that. They talked about it, carried out inside. I mean, they said, we, we, we are not supposed to do any chemical things, but she said, that's not a problem. We have a lot of equipment, but actually they're not doing it. Option C, completed in the time available. Listen to it again. Hmm, well, I thought for this experiment, we could look at the relationship between seed size and the way the seeds are planted. So we could plant different sized seeds in different ways and see which grow best. Okay, we'd need to allow time for the seeds to come up. That should be fine if we start now. A lot of the other possible experiments need quite a bit longer. So that... Okay, so they talked about time. Now check why B is wrong. Make it a good one to choose. That's okay. Now, uh, this also means they agree. That makes it a good one to choose. They agree on that. I don't suppose it'd need much equipment. We're not doing chemical. I don't suppose it would need much equipment. Another tip for you. Usually in multiple choice options where they use not, that is a trap. Okay, I don't suppose we need much equipment, but we do have this and that in the lab. And then check, they use direct words. Cool analysis or anything. Though that's not really an issue. We've got plenty of equipment in the laboratory. Yeah. Okay, now let's move on to question number 23. Uh, what do they decide to check with their tutor? What do they decide? Now it's about decision to check with their tutor. One will say, well, okay, we can check Mr. John about it. The other says, come on, this is so simple. I already know about that. So what are we going to discuss with the tutor? What are, what, whatever they're going to discuss, that is the answer. A, now you don't need to read weather and all that. Aim is appropriate. Option A, aim. For aim, they can use the word purpose. For appropriate, they can use the word uh huh suitable exactly that's right b anyone else has chosen the topic anyone else chosen the topic or this topic c assignment contributes to their final grade now if they say it will contribute to the final grade or it's equal to 20 percent of the final grade then it can be the answer now let's just do this please focus we need to have a word with the tutor if we're going to go ahead with it though I'm sure our aim's okay. It's not very ambitious, but the assignment's only 10% of our final mark, isn't it? But we need to be sure we're the only ones doing it. Yeah, it's only 5% actually, but it'd be a bit boring if everyone was doing it. C, no, A. B, C, okay, listen up. A, he said we are clear about the aim. So A is out. A is not the answer. Initially, he spoke about it. Now we are left with B and C. C is whether the assignment contributes to their final grade. And she said that already. So they don't need to discuss it with the tutor. She said 5%. It contributes 5% to that. So once they know it, they don't need to discuss it with the tutor. B, whether anyone else has chosen this topic. We want to see, and she said, everyone is doing the same thing. I play it again. We need to have a word with the tutor if we're going to go ahead with it, though. I'm sure our aim's okay. It's not very ambitious, but the assignment's only 10% of our final mark, isn't it? Okay, aim is okay. Assignment is 10%, so uh, it's... Uh, a and C, they are out. Okay, then we are left with B. Listen now. But we need to be sure we're the only ones doing it. We are the only ones doing it. So that is, anyone else has chosen this topic. We are the only ones doing it. Clear? All right, let's go on, please. Question number 24. They agree that Graves' book on seed germination is disappointing. 
Graves book. Grave is the writer. He's got a book and his book is disappointing because now the reason and they agree that they agree on a reason why book is disappointing. A. Fails to cover recent advances and seed science is understood. As you know, their topic is seed germination, seed science and all that. So fails to cover recent advances. B. Content is irrelevant. Irrelevant. That's it. C. Focus is very theoretical. He focuses more on theory or 80% of the book is based on theory. Something like that. Now, please listen and answer. Did you read that book on seed germination on our reading list? The one by Graves? Hmm. I looked through it for my last experiment, though it wasn't all that relevant there. It would be for this experiment, though. I found it quite hard to follow. Lots about the theory, which I hadn't expected. Yes, I'd been hoping for something more practical. It does include references to the recent findings on genetically modified seeds, though. Yes, that was interesting. A, B, C, all three are right answers, huh? A, because first... They talked about A, then they talked about other one, then they talked about the other one. The right answer is C. Focus is very theoretical. You did not fo fo uh, focus one thing. Agree. The word agree. They only agree on the focus. Now, I play it again. Please just see it here. Uh, don't look at the question. Just look at me here. Did you read that book on seed germination on our reading list? The one by Graves? Hmm. I looked through it for my last experiment. Though it wasn't all that relevant there. Now, it, there is no agreement on that or disagreement. Listen carefully again. Would be for this experiment, though. I found it quite hard to follow. Lots about the theory, which I hadn't expected. Yes, I'd been hoping for something. Lot about the theory, which I was expecting. Yes. This yes means agree. Yeah. Right? So, it's actually this C. Question number 25. What does Jack say about the article on C germination by Lee Hall? Jack say. So, you will listen to Jack very carefully. A. Diagrams of plant development are useful. So, diagrams are useful. Plant development, we know the topic is seed germination. It's all about plants. So, diagrams, useful. For diagrams, they can use the word illustrations and all that. B. Analysis of seed germination statistics is thorough. Thorough analysis and statistics. C. Findings on seed germination after fires are surprising. Finding after fire surprising. And they write the word seed germination deliberately to make it longer. So, <coughs> there are few things which you need to assume in multiple choice. In this all five questions, in these five questions, seed germination, seeds, plants, you need to assume that. Whenever in, in the options they talk about it, don't ju just overlook them, right? So now you are going to focus diagrams are useful, analysis and statistics is thorough and uh, finding seed germination after fires are surprising, right? Let's see, what do they say? I read an article about seed germination by Lee Hall. About seeds that lie in the ground for ages and only germinate after a fire. Hmm, that's the one. I knew a bit about it already, but not about this research. His analysis of figures comparing the times of the fires and the proportion of seeds that germinated was done in a lot of detail. Very impressive. Was that the article with the illustrations of early stages of plant development? They were very clear. I think those diagrams were in another article. <laughs> I think those diagrams were in another article. So it's not A, it's B. Analysis of seed germination statistics is thorough. Right? Yeah, it's B. All right. You want to go to Canada, Australia and all that. So you have to go through this thing, right? Okay, now please come to questions 26 to 30. Complete the flow chart below. Now, double the trouble. Have you seen that movie, Double the Trouble? <laughs> okay. Double the Trouble is this. 
uh, you've got to do flow chart completion, but you have to pick up the word from the list of words which is given. So let's see. At this point, you can do one thing. You can take a look at all these words. Container is, container, soil, weight, condition, height, color, types, and depths. Now, keep in mind, in the audio, they are not going to use these words. For container, they can use the word pot. For soil, they can use the word clay or soil. For weight, they can use the word how much it weighs. For condition, they can use the word circumstances and all that. For height, they can use the word how tall it is. Synonyms. For color, they will use color. Okay? Yeah. And for types, they can use the word kinds. They can use the word sorts. S-O-R-T-S. Like you say, what sort of person are you? What kind of person are you? What type of person are you? And for depth, they can use the word how deep it is. So they will use synonyms. As you take a look at these words, you need to make the synonyms. Now, question number 26, stages in the experiment, select seeds of different dash and sizes. Now, first you need to see there is when there is size, it can be weight, it can be type, it can be color, but it cannot be container. It cannot be soil and size. Right? So you just need to see what can go with that. Right? Now I play the audio. You, oh, okay, there is another way of doing it. If it is difficult for you to decide immediately, this is the word I picked from the audio, what is the synonym of that word, then it's a good idea to write that word down which you listen to in the audio. And then you can see what is the synonym of this word. With the size, they will speak a word. Write that word down here. And even at the end, when they give you half a minute to check your answers, then you can just see, okay, for 26A is the right answer. For this, that is the right answer. Because, you know, if you start looking that this is the word, what's the synonym? Audio will never stop with you. You stop, audio stops could be the right choice in IELTS. But actually, you stop, audio continues. So that's why you got to be careful. Now, we do question number 26. Anyway, shall we have a look at the procedure for our experiment? We'll need to get going with it quite soon. Right. So the first thing we have to do is find our seeds. I think vegetable seeds would be best. And obviously they mustn't all be the same size. So how many sorts do we need? About four different ones? I think that would be enough. There'll be quite a large number of seeds for each one. How many sorts do we need? About four different ones. So you can write the word sorts and that is kinds and the answer will be G. Right? Never do this thing. I to ABC ki bajaye pura word likha tha. Pura band lunga. Okay? So you will not even get any band for that. G is the answer. The marker has G. Marker means the guy who's checking your listening and reading. He's got G on the list. And instead of G, you have written types because you want pura band. So you will not get even other band for that, right? Okay, question number 27. Measure and record the dash and size of each one. Now, when you measure dash and size, just guess. Size ke saath aur kaun si cheez hai jisko aap measure kar sakte hai? Yeah, record kar sakte hai. Height, yeah, or anything like that. Now, let's play the audio and you got to tell me the answer. Then, for each seed, we need to find out how much it weighs and also measure its dimensions. And we need to keep a careful record of all that. That'll be quite time consuming. How much? It weighs. How much it weighs means weight. Oh, ye wave wo wala nahi hai. Wave kithe chal hai? Ye wave wo bhi nahi hai. W A Y. Ye wave hai W E I G H. Jo weight hota hai na vazan, uska ye verb hai. How much it weighs. So, wave ki jaga pe weight, C will be the answer. Okay. Ye question by question better nahi hai? Yes. Haan, poore ka fayda kya? Bichare aise bethe mein saare samaj aari nahi aari. Decide on the dash to be. I have two hours of audio. Thi. 
एक टेस्ट की ऑडियो काटने पे ना ही मैंने अल्लाह खुद से किया है सारा एडिटिंग का सो आई जस्ट कट द ऑडियो सो दैट आई कुड प्ले देम वन बाय वन एनी वेज डिसाइड ऑन द डैश टू बी यूज अब जरा सोचें क्या चीज है जिसको इस्तेमाल किया जाए कंटेनर हो सकता है सॉइल हो सकता है राइट right? और क्या हाँ यही हो सकता है कंटेनर और क्या हो सकता है कलर भी हो सकता है चलें लेट्स सी और जेन में रखते हैं बात अभी भी वो बीजों की चल रही है राइट इट्स जस्ट दैट ओके एंड वी आल्सो नीड टू डिसाइड हाउ डीप वी आर गोइंग टू प्लांट द सीड्स राइट ऑन द सरफेस अ फ्यू मिलीमीटर्स डाउन और सेवरल सेंटीमीटर्स ओके सो देन वी गेट प्लांटिंग हाउ डीप वी आर गोइंग टू प्लांट द सीड्स एज डेथ गॉट इट वी प्रोनाउंस इट एज डेथ और नॉट डेप्थ हाउ डीप we are going to plant them few millimeters or all that so the answer will be h exactly question number 29 use a different dash for each seed and label it tukka kal use a different glass and label it container your tukka is right okay anyways use a different dash for each seed now let's see what do they use for container container or pot or anything like that do you think we can plant several seeds together in the same plant pot no i think we need a different one for each seed hmm right plant pot and plant pot is for container so a will be the answer very good see this understanding the way you are understanding it now this will help you get even eight band or even more than that right all right let's move on is everything okay yeah question number 30 after about 3 weeks record the plants dash yeah just imagine in 3 weeks plant will grow so <laughs> Exactly. Let's see. I play the audio for you. And we'll need to label them. We can use different colored labels. Then we labels. wait for the seeds It's to for germinate. It's for previous question. I reckon that'll be about three weeks, depending on what the weather's like. Then we see if our plants have come up and write down how tall they've grown. Then all we have to do is look at our numbers and see if there's any relation between them. That's oh. right. Okay how tall they've grown that is height how tall e understand yes. so this is how you got to do it 